the dressing gown a bit much? Is it? Mm, it's Christmas. Okay, I feel like I just can't sit here in a dressing gown, so we're gonna sit here in a fluffy jumper instead. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm bringing you guys a Boxing Day Boohoo haul. So Boohoo have sales on all year round, pretty much, but I just think their Boxing Day that sale this year was was a bit of a joke. So I did manage to pick up myself a few little bits. Not that I need any more clothes, but how can I resist a sale? I don't actually know what happened to my parcel, but like her means of had to take it all back up. Well, I feel like nobody can actually resist the Boxing Day sale, so I will link everything down below that I did pick up, and it will also be a try and haul. So if you do enjoy the video, smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's just get into it. I don't know if there's a logical way to open this bag, because if I need to send stuff back, it's gonna be literally in bits. I don't know if anybody else feels me on this, but Boohoo has really stepped up their game with like every department. Like I went for a stage of thinking, mm, don't really shop on Boohoo, but now I've got that next day delivery for a year, girls. Right, so where do we start? I'm gonna start with these trousers because I already have these been a different colour. So when I saw this colour and I saw they were on sale, I had to get them. So I seem to have this thing where I keep buying clothes that I can't really like wear unless I've got an occasion to wear them, but I think Birmingham's heading into tier 4, so that is great. Can't wait to absolutely do even less than we're allowed to do now, so we won't be able to go to the shops. But anyway, we're going to save these for when we can actually go out. So these are some cargo trousers, but they're leather. I've got these in like a... It's like a... Not a chocolate brown. It's like a... What can't I think of the colour? It's like in between this and like an orangey brown, if that makes sense. So I decided I'm going to pick them up in this colour. How sick is this colour? I love anything. This colour leather is just a dream. So it's like a nudie, creamy colour. I used to be like really not scared of like wearing, of wearing nudes because of my hair colour. I used to think it clashed, but I just think it's a vibe now. So I've got them in this nice nude colour. So I picked them up in a size 10 again. Like I said, I do already have these. haven't actually worn them anywhere because we've been in tier 3. Um, and we're going into tier 4, so I still won't be able to wear them. But we're going to save them. They're going to make an appearance when we're allowed outside. But they're just like this. I've got two pockets down the leg. They're like a perfect length on me as well. I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, and then they're like a perfect ankle grazing length on me, I would say. They've got belt loops. So I did pick them up in a 10 just because I didn't want them to be like leggings. Um, and the other ones fit so perfectly. So I just picked them up again. I think this with like a white shirt on a night out. Or you can even like put a white hoodie on, some trainers and make it more casual. That'd be sick as well. But yeah, I absolutely love these. The quality of them is actually insane and... They don't smell like things like this usually smell fishy because of like the fake leather, but they smell of nothing. <laughs> See, I really can't wait to wear those. I just think they're such a stay before your wardrobe. Like these bits keep sticking to me. They're kind of dressy, but at the same time you can just get away with the hoodie and trainer. So you look dressed up, but actually you've not really made much effort. But they're just sick. I'm so excited to have those in my wardrobe. They have them in a couple more colours as well. I think they have them in like a dark chocolate brown and they also have them in black. So I might have to get those. Okay, next I'm going to go for a pair of jeans. Now that I've got these jeans in person, I'm not really vibing with the colour of them. They're kind of like a really light blue, which isn't really me. I'm more like a grey wash, like a grey tone blue, like a vintage wash. But these jeans have been advertised everywhere. And I just thought I needed to try it. They are not the jeans that I ordered. They are not. Definitely not what I ordered. I'm going to insert a picture on screen now of what I ordered. This is not, this is not there. <laughs> I am very confused. Wait, let me just get my phone so I can like mentally make sure that this isn't what I ordered because I'm, I would not order these. I was going to say the colour looked a bit different but now that I've opened them up, they just look like a completely different pair of jeans. No way. <laughs> this is not what I ordered, boo-hoo. Okay, these are just not my vibe at all. The colour of them first of all is too light for me. And the knees, on the, you'll see on the picture, but they were like really baggy, really oversized. They were like split. They were completely open. And this is just not them. <laughs> Why is it going on? This has never happened to me before. Um, are they even called the same thing? Yeah, okay. They've got the same name. So it's the Acid Wash Extreme Knee Rip Straight Leg Jean. These aren't Acid Wash. They're not Extreme Rips. Like I know they've got like this in them, but they're not Extreme Rips. This is not my own. No, <sighs> this is just a big ball of disappointment. These would definitely be going back, so yeah, they're not really my vibe. But if these are your vibe, I would say I'll link them down below. So if you order what I actually ordered, these will probably turn up anyway. So if you like these, go for it. I got them in a size 10. Um, I don't really want to talk about them too much because it's just not 
not what I ordered. <laughs> sad, sad times. I was so excited for them jeans. I've been wanting a pair of those jeans in my life for so long. Ever since I saw Molly May's Instagram picture in the summer, where she had these like extreme baggy ripped jeans on. I wanted them and I've just been given a big ball of disappointment. <laughs> anyway, I feel like we can only go up from here, so I'm gonna move on to a tracksuit. Ah, oh, this is unreal. So I feel like you all kind of know me by now. I'm not really a jeans person, even though I've just ordered a pair of jeans. I live tracksuits, leggings, joggers, that kind of vibes. So this tracksuit is actually sick. I'll show you the joggers first. I love like acid wash, like this kind of washed out black. I much prefer this to like a jet black of anything. So these are the joggers. They're just like an acid wash. They've got the really thick waistbands, so you know the good quality. Pockets. But look at this detail. Let me just turn them to the side so you can actually see it in full swing. So down the leg, they've got this print and it's like a really light blue and it just says official something something. But these give me like off-white vibes, anybody else. But I just love the contrast of the blue on the acid wash. I think that is so sick. Got these in a size 10. You do have to buy the joggers and the hoodie separate, but I'm glad you did because... I picked up the hoodie, here's the matching hoodie, but I picked this up in a size 14 because I like it to be like big, baggy, oversized, comfy. This is the hoodie and I'm just obsessed with it. So it's just acid wash. It's got the little blue logo in the middle. And then on the back, it's got the official like, print on there as well. I'm in love with this tracksuit. I'm so in love with this tracksuit. I've only recently got into like wearing blue. I used to think it never suited me, but I mean, it's not really like I'm wearing blue because it's gray. Can't go wrong with a bit of grey. But I really love the blue like, accents on it. That is so sick. This is not the perfect size as well. It looks massive, but that is exactly what I wanted from this tracksuit. Comfort is key, boys and girls. But I just think this is so sick. And if they bought this out with like a pink print on it as well, 100% I would order it. I'm obsessed with this quality feels unreal. The hood is massive and you just can't beat a big hood. Especially when you're wearing a hoodie and you're wearing the hood here. It just like sags and looks all sad. This one is like really thick, so it's going to actually like... Hold it shape a little bit, which is good. But yeah, that is so sick and it was so inexpensive as well for what it is. Okay, so next up we've got like a little three-piece set. These remind me of the Bow and Tea sets, which are actually like quite expensive. I did get one for Christmas, like the Shan got me the top and my mum got me the joggers and it was like £100 for that set all together. But this, you get three pieces in this, by the way. Quality. Oh my God, the quality of these. To me, and like white and cream things is just not a good idea. But when they're not expensive, like you can kind of justify it. So these are the joggers. They're like a cream, really thick rib material. So they are like exactly the same as the Bowen T ones. They're just not double layered, but they are still really, really thick and really, really nice. I don't think they're going to be see-through at all. No, nope, not see-through one bit. So these are the joggers. They're the exact same style so to the point where they've even got the branding in the middle, which is the same as the Bowen T ones, but this one just says official, which has got a really thick elasticated waistband, and then they are also cuffed at the bottom. Oh, and they've got a pocket. So they're sick. Got them in a size 10 probably. Yeah, size 10 and they look perfect. They're actually got like, heavy as well, like there is weight to them. So you know they're not like cheaply made. So that is the joggers. So I kind of went for this vibe where you can go for like summer, winter, autumn, spring, whatever you want. Okay, so summer vibe, we've got this little crop top. How cute is this? So it's like exactly the same material and colour. Um, it's just little like crop top. You could probably get away with wearing this as a sports bra, you know. I mean, it's quite covered up so if you want to wear that to the gym on its own you can but it's just the thick rib material again and then it does have the official branding at the bottom again i picked this up in a size 10 but it does look quite big i feel like we'll get away we'll get away with it but i just thought that as a little set in the summer is just gonna be so cute but if you're getting it this time of year and it's cold boohoo i've got you covered so I even do like a little matching cropped jumper how cute is this how cute is this so if i like a three-piece set going on here so it's perfect for all year round Again, the exact same ribbed thick material. It's not see-through. Um, it's cuffed on the sleeves. It's kind of cuffed on the bottom as well. And it just has the official logo on it. And I like how the logo is brown as well. I think that's like, quite subtle. Like, against the cream, it looks really nice. Not that you can see. <laughs> yeah, I got all of this in a size 10. And this was so affordable. Like, it's actually a little bit scary. Like, the quality is unreal. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful set. It's like, you could wear all three. And if you get too hot, take the jumper off. Um, but yeah, I love that. But I was so happy when I saw this. I think that I just had a £100 tracksuit bought for me. And you can get them for like... You literally are just paying for the branding. Whereas this is like... I think the joggers were £12. The top was 6 The jumper might have been 10 And you get like a three-piece set instead of like a two-piece. So moving on to the last piece of the haul. And would it would it really be a Shannon Mooney haul without a coat in there somewhere? 
no. So I picked up this black coat from Boohoo. You will see this one better when it's on because you kind of just looks like a bin bag right now, to be honest. <laughs> but this is one of them like puffy black padded coats, but it's got the tie waist around it. So you can really cinch yourself in and it will be really, really flattering. I actually don't own a black coat. Do I? <laughs> that was a lot. I've got two. I've got no like black puffer, proper like Mm, I have got winter coats, but the black coats that I've got, look, I've got an aviator and then I've got, it can, mm, it's kind of like another avi aviator, it's kind of like the same sort of style. So I've got two black aviators, but I don't have a black puffer. And I feel like with joggers and things, you kind of need just like a black puffer. And this is perfect, and I feel like it makes it a lot more girly as well, having the tight waist around it. Um, I like the fact that it's not got an actual colour, it's kind of just like that. Giving it more bin bag vibes, we love it. Saw so many people wearing these, I don't know why, but I just never hopped on the bandwagon with the trend. Um, but now I'm here, it's better like than ever. I've got this in a size 10, haven't tried it on yet, but I feel like it's gonna go with so many things and it's gonna be like my staple coat this winter. Not that I actually need any more coats because the amount that I have it's a little bit sickening, I'm not gonna lie. So, everybody, that is everything that I picked up from Boohoo. Everything will be linked down below. Let me know down below if you picked anything up from the Boxing Day sales. Let me know if there's anything that you think I would need. Not that I need anything, but I do. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you so, so much for watching. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I think this is going to be my last video of 2020. So I hope you all have a great New Year's Eve, whatever you can do. Because at this point, we're not going to be doing anything except going to bed at 9 o'clock. I'm not even seeing 2020 out. But I can't wait to say goodbye to 2020 because it's just been an absolute shambles. I'm not going to lie. Like, no one's really had a good year, have they? But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. We're on the road to 4K. But yeah. Bye, guys.